Hi everyone, welcome back to GA Online Teaching and this is the last lesson for the grade 10s for the year. Okay, today we're going to factorize cubes. Now, keep in mind the process and the steps because it can be very easy at first and after a few weeks or few days of going over the game, you suddenly forget. But luckily this video is online. Okay, so over here, I need to find cubes. Cube means I can find the cube root of something. So I find the cube root of literally everything and that goes into my small bracket and then we'll see what happens to our big bracket. So the cube root of 125 x to the power of 3 is 5x. What's that sign? Minus. Then the cube root of 8y to the power of 3 is 2y. Okay, now what goes into the big bracket? We're going to square this and we're going to square that over there. So 5x squared is equal to 25x squared. Right, the next one, 2y squared equals to 4y squared. Now, this now becomes a little bit more tricky. What sign is this? A negative. Meaning that the opposite side of a negative would be a positive. Keep that in mind. Always, whatever this sign is, this one has to be different. And then I multiply this two together and that will give me my middle term. So 5x times 2y is equal to 10xy. And that must also always be a Positive. Alright, that was a little bit difficult. Let's go on to the next one. So, this cube root of 27a to the power of 3 is 3a. What's that sign? Plus. What's the cube root of 64b to the power of 3? The answer would be 4b. Okay, now 3a squared is 9a squared. What's the sign? Positive, meaning on this side it has to be a negative. Notice how it is different, okay? So then I multiply these two together, which is 3a times 4b is 12ab. And then I have plus, there has always be a plus, and then 4a, oh sorry, 4b squared is equal to 16b squared. Okay, again a little bit tricky. Please make sure, how do we recognize this, that this is a cube root of factorization? Is that if the fact that you can find every single term, letter or number, if you can find the cube root of it, and then it is factorizing using cubes. Hi. With that being said, until next time, this is GA Online Teaching. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And good luck for the rest of exams. And I'll see everybody next time. God willing, inshallah. Bye-bye.